Good day and welcome to our short explanation of how to migrate uh, MySQL from, well, in my case, I've been working on uh, from 5.5 all the way through to 5.7. And uh, let me tell you, it's been quite a train wreck. So it's not near as hard as it sounds. It's simply that I'm getting incomplete instructions from everywhere I turn. So the first thing you're going to want to do is back it up. So now I'm going to go to the old MySQL administrator, which I prefer to use anyway, mostly because I understand it more, probably not because it's any better or any worse. It's just different. OK, so I'm going to go to Backup, and I'm going to go to Backup, this one. And uh, if you don't have an entry in your left-hand side here, simply click New Project then select your database, then back up. And I, this is the way I'm going to do this. So yeah, there we go. WordPress, and I'm going to call this uh, uh, oh, can of hyphens. So I'm just going to put a space, and I'm going to call this 5.7, or 5.6, I guess. And I'm just going to put a bunch of sixes in so it stands out for me, so I don't have to hunt around. There we go. And I see it showing up on the desktop here. There we go. Isn't that nice? Bingo, bongo, closed. So this is what it boils down to. You cannot upgrade, as far as I can tell, from um, even a minor release of MySQL. So the documentation, they use lovely words here to explain that you can't upgrade major versions. So from, from version uh, uh, you know 5 to version 8. Sure, that makes sense to me. But there's references that seem to indicate that you can upgrade from, say, 5.1 to 5.5, and then 5.1 to 5.6. But that apparently is not the case. So uh, there's a couple of really quirky things here. Uh, the first is uh, I've downloaded 5.5 here. You can see I've downloaded 5.6, and I have 5.7 here. Now, if I go into, say, 5.7, and this is the first time I've done this, let's just see what happens. So I'm, I've got my 5.6 ready to go, or installed and working. And now I want to upgrade to 5.7. But this is the same process I followed for 5.1 to 5.5 and 5.5 to 5.6. So if you're running an older version, don't worry about it. Just keep playing along with the home game here. OK, so yes. Yes, why it asks twice, I don't know, but it does. But obviously is launching another executable in the background. There we go. Now what's frustrating here, at least what I'm expecting to be frustrating here, is that there won't be a 5.7 install option. So I go here and I say, upgrade, and I'm just ready to go. Hey, no products ready to go. Click catalog and update the catalog. Still not there. Really obnoxious. Oh my god. And um, so I spent a lot of time working on this unknown architecture garbage. That's not the big problem here. Anyway, so then you go to, well, I'll just I'll just add the new one and figure out how to migrate it from there. So I go to MySQL. Oh, OK, now it's there. <laughs> OK, with 5.6, it wasn't there, which is quite annoying. So the solution, and so I'll go through that solution first. The solution is to uh, uninstall it. And you can install it a number of ways. Uh, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to uninstall it from uh, Adam Remove Programs here. Um, and in particular, I have to uninstall the Microsoft the only way I could get 5.6 to install was to uninstall 5.5 and uninstall the, the um, uh, MySQL installer. Even though I wasn't running it, I was running a new one, which is this 5.6, it still wasn't working. So I'm going to do that here, OK? So we're going to skip through it so you won't have to waste your time watching it. But you'll get the idea, because this is the process I followed all the way along. Get rid of the, the uh, administrator there, uh, boom. Now I'm going to uninstall 5.6, Bye bye And if there was a community installer here, I would get rid of that too. OK, so it's going, and it's gone. Now I'm going to take my 5.7, current stable build, and I'm going to run the install. In case you're wondering, yes, I'm skipping through this so you don't, uh, <laughs> um, you don't sit here and watch me take forever to, to install this and uninstall. Um, so things do take an extra minute or two. So it's pretty obvious. Slip down, choose a 64-bit version, because that's what everybody wants these days. Yep, that's ready to install, execute. The 
default directories, everything's happy. Okay, next. Now ready to configure. Uh, oh, this is different from my 5.6 and my previous one, but uh, I'm going to call this my standalone. There we go. And yeah, this is the same now. Which, which version do I want? Well, development, server, and dedicated. Um, I'm going to choose server because that's what I've got here. Basically, this is how much memory do you want it to use. This is a development computer. is used as little as possible so that you can run other apps. Dedicated is max it out, baby. This is a server. I'm running a couple of other things on this, specifically WordPress and a couple other bits. So I'm going to leave it at server. Uh, I don't want name pipe or shared uh, memory. Uh, I don't need advanced logging. I do want to use port 33. 06 the default click next here it's going to ask for a password there it is let me just enter it there we go i also like to add another user i'm going to skip this so you can't see it though so back in a second okay so i've added my mystery user so you couldn't see that and you can see here it's mysql 5.7 that's just fine yes i want it to run as a service and yes, because it's Windows, and yes, uh, I would like it to start automatically. Standard user is fine. Next. Um, no, I don't need to do that. That's fine. Next, and let it rip, baby. Uh, typically, this seems to take uh, on this particular Windows uh, virtual machine about, um, oh, a minute or so from other testing that I've done with previous versions. So hopefully, it's the same one, uh, 5.7. Although it does look like it's taking a bit longer. Okay, that took a few minutes longer than usual. That took more like two to three minutes rather than say 45 seconds, but anyway, it's done, so that's good. And now what I have to do is go into my tool and import. So I'm going to close the installer because I'm done. Now I'm going to go into uh, MySQL uh, Workbench and I'll do a restore. And I'll make sure my WordPress word site, website is still working after that. Um, I'll have to set a um, new user and I'll have to adjust the uh, wp-config, the ph. Okay, that took forever, which is quite a surprise. Yeah, this is definitely different. Now, maybe that's a one-time thing, maybe it's not, I don't know. I didn't read what that said because I just don't care. I've been working on this for hours and I've really just had enough of MySQL. So I'm really shocked that there's not some normal upgrade process. Instead, there's this Linux, everything has to be done manually process. Anyway, so let's go. Let's do a, an import. So we go down to data import restore. We go to import self-contained file. I'm going to select it from my desktop. It's one with all the sixes in it, you'll recall. Uh, which makes it that one right there. And I don't need to set the schema. I just simply click Start Import, and it starts sucking it in. It's like the other ones. Uh, it should take about, oh, 30 seconds. Um, if it's like everything else in 5.7, it's going to take longer. So let's see how this works. Okay, that took a little bit longer, but not that much. Okay, and that is how you upgrade uh, your MySQL. If you need to go from 5.1 to 5.5, and then, by the way, there is no readily available, at least, 5, uh, 2, 3, or 4, in case you're looking for that. So, um, yeah, so that's the process. Uninstall, or backup, uninstall, restore. Not rocket science, just a pain. Okay. If you have any questions, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you.